Hello and welcome to the brand new episode of A Day with Tycoons Life Beyond Business. Today we are going to spend our day with Dr. Sanjay Parashar who is a consultant plastic surgeon, also the vice chairman of Kokona Clinics. I would not talk more about him because I want to talk as much as possible to him on the show and know more about his journey in India, in Dubai and other countries in the world. Morning has already started yes, with the dogs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how many dogs you are having? Yeah, five. Five? Yeah. Tiggy, come here. Tiggy, Tiggy, come. Come here, come here. And a cat. Tell something about your dogs and cats. This ah, is the yeah. oldest one. Ah. She's the grandmother. Mm. She's Pekingese. Okay. He's a gentleman. His name is Ben. He is German Shepherd. This one we got her from Egypt. So she is a cross between uh, golden retriever and, I think and uh, yeah. So after that you brought that. Yes, yeah. yeah. The first one was this one. So how you normally how your morning starts? Have we missed something or we are on the right time? Yeah, you missed the tea, morning tea. <laughs> <laughs> we have the morning tea, but we can have with you. Uh, we can have breakfast yeah. together. And then okay. we have uh, then our uh, gym mm -hmm. workout. Okay, so what is the secret of your fitness? She said she has a personal trainer and you know, jeans and everything. What is your... Uh... My, my fitness um, inspiration is from people around me. My wife, of course, as you know. My son, who is a sports player and he's into fitness. My brother, elder brother, he is into fitness. And of course, my job. My jobs, you know, I have to be fit um, to, to inspire my patients, you know, to stay fit as well. So let's go and hit the gym now. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, let's do that. I think I find my parents very ambitious and very hardworking. They work pretty much every day from morning till night and sometimes they even work on the weekdays. And it's hard for me and my sister sometimes because we don't get to spend as much time uh, with them as we'd normally like to. But when we do spend time with them, we like to cherish the moment, we like to have fun, we try to communicate about how our lives are going. And uh, it really teaches me and my sister how to live because uh, life isn't easy and they sort of make our life a lot easier and they teach us to work hard. And probably the memory I, I, I find most fond of them is how they came and watched me win my very first tennis tournament at the age of six. They woke up early morning, they drove me to the venue at around eight o'clock in the morning, they waited for five to six hours and, and then they would support me through all my matches and then when I eventually did win, they were really happy, we took lots of pictures and that was the first time they really saw uh, me win a tennis tournament. That was really important for me because they knew that tennis was a passion that I wanted to pursue. What are the fond memories with Dr. Sanjay? How has been the journey so far from marriage, then you are involved in the business also and so how, how is the experience so far? Yeah, the journey has been very long, almost more than half of my life I've spent with him. It's almost 26 years now I know him and we're dating for three years then got married so 22 years of our marriage. But. Uh, I still feel that I met him like yesterday and then he's still like my friend and now that I'm involved with the business and everything, he's more of my mentor, guide and we are partners more than husband and wife, I think. So how did you two meet? How did we meet? Interesting. Yes, it was in Mumbai again and then it was Bombay. If you remember 1993, uh, in Bombay there was a serial bomb blast. 13 bombs went off and I was working in Bombay hospital and he was also here, he has just joined, I was already there and you know, so I was in radiology department and he came looking for if there was any emergencies or anything, that's how we met there. Okay, and that's how you fell in love with him, it's a love marriage if I'm not wrong. Yes, uh, 
I can um you're blushing. <laughs> After spending 26 years with him, you are still blushing. <laughs> yeah. Um one of her batchmates, she was my colleague in radiology department and uh, before he had joined Bombay Hospital, she would tell that, you know, there's this guy from my batch and he's a gold medalist, he's going to join Bombay Hospital. So I was very curious to know who is this gold medalist guy. So, so I was very impressed by his academics. Mm. So he, does, he did not have any other quality other than academics. <laughs> See, even before he joined Bombay Hospital, I was very curious to know who he was. And when I saw him, yes, it turned out to be that he was good looking, charming and very good in academics. So all in all, got the uh, full yes. package. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely afternoon. Perfect time for a cup of coffee. What say? Yeah, sure. Cold coffee would be great. But I said... Cold coffee. Nikai AC's. Super cool, super fast. Can I have the hot coffee back? Chakki Fresh Shuddh Peacock Atta Nirmata Al Adil The Home of Indian Food Stuff Are you losing hair? Have you tried everything? Are you starting to lose hope? Kakuna Center for Aesthetic Transformation offers innovative and effective solutions for hair loss, including mesotherapy, PRP for hair, vitamin therapy, regenerative treatments, and FUE, FUT, and robotic hair transplant. Don't leave it too late. Take control of your hair loss today. Call Kakuna and book your free consultation. Call Kakuna now on 800 36 26 36 or go to kakuna.ae. Kakuna, for transformation you can trust. So after a refreshing morning at home, we have finally reached the Kukuna Clinic's Alvasal branch. I can see Dr. Sanjay already coming in. A relaxing morning at home uh, how is your routine in the clinic when you come to the clinic what all you do mm. see we have two divided days one day is where right from the morning we start operations mm. so it will start 7 30 8 o'clock we'll do operations till 5 o'clock 6 o'clock mm. then on the other days we just meet patients so we do consultations we check up on them we do follow-ups simple treatments so that's the routine in the hospital and clinic here. Yeah. Uh, how do you keep your uh, staff motivated? Yeah, ma uh, I think leading by example is the most important thing. I mean, you have to be enthusiastic, you have to be hardworking, you have to be focused, determined, um, and keep the energy around, po positive around you. Uh, and then motivating it by acknowledging them, training them, you know, involving them in group activities, and showing them the results of the hard work that they are doing and that is the most important motivating factor for them. You are doing an award also, you've got a lot, lot of awards and Kukuna does its own awards. Tell us something about that. Yeah, this, this is called Aesthetic Practice Award and this was basically to identify skilled and uh, you know knowledgeable people who are exceptional, who, have, who do outstanding work and not only doctors but the nurses, the staff, the non-clinical staff who support us to, you know, um, uh, perform uh, the best. So that is the purpose of the award. How is the branch of cosmetic surgery or cosmetic treatments in Middle East? Um, it is different in a way. Uh, and most important and surprising thing is the amount of education and knowledge that the people have here. 
um, including men and women who are aware of what they can do on themselves to look better and appear better you know so there's a huge lot of involvement here on the other hand there's a lot of expectations as well they are looking for perfection they want everything the best and that's challenging and that's not easy to accomplish but that us, keeps us motivating and doing better and better as far as i know you have authored quite number of books tell us something about the books is it the your autobiography or what no, is it's it? not autobiography at all uh, my first book was just for people to know what we are about what plastic surgery is about you know what we have gone through all our lives to um, to treat them and to give them this uh, service but it's also for them to know what is good for them and what is not good for them who should they go to how to look for experienced doctors experienced surgeons what kind of research they should be into you know and what's the industry practice what's happening in the west what's happening in the east so it's all about that so after this first book then i released it in arabic so people in the middle east and gcc can take advantage of that and understand and you know gain that knowledge then my third book was professional book it was meant for plastic surgeons who are undergoing training so for them to teach them all my experience of last 25 years on what kind of uh, body contouring procedures what is liposuction what is uh, slimming procedures so all of these things have been described scientifically combined and combined together for their benefit uh, you do travel a lot uh, for conferences and the other day i was talking to you said you teach also so uh, how that has come about do you get time to teach people <laughs> yeah i do get time you know teaching uh, why i am passionate about teaching that's interesting because i realized i learn better if i teach so when i was a student i was an average student let let me But admit this gold medalist, right? uh, i'll tell you how i got uh -huh. gold medal yeah, i was an I, yeah. like <laughs> i was yeah. an average student okay mm -hmm. and obviously it took me a lot of effort to read and medicine being not easy it was not easy at all so i could see my colleagues doing very well i realized that i need to do something different to be able to stand up in the in the medical crowd so i started teaching because when you teach your younger colleagues you need to be perfect and that made me her work harder read harder i would go and read the whole night to be able to teach the next day and by doing that my knowledge increased and within few years i was above all the students and that's how i got the gold medal because i they came very knowledgeable and uh, you know experienced okay we've seen kukuna uh, cleaning from growing from 1 to 2 to 3 and then you have uh, expanded into india also delhi and ludhiana where do we see you next okay where do we see you next yeah you have been in as you said you know you were uh, practicing in bahrain so do you plan to open one in bahrain also yeah. see here yeah, do i do wish i i i want to see myself globally you know so our goal is to go out of united Amer arab emirates to into um, bahrain into kuwait into saudi arabia into africa and god willing into europe as well you do treat a lot of celebrities also name a few i can't <laughs> <laughs> i cannot name any because that's, that's professional that's why i professional <laughs> yeah and that's confidential yeah. but you, know? you do treat them we do treat them and and the way uh, i treat them is i don't look uh, to them as celebrities i just look to them as a patient to me who comes to asking for for help now if i look at to them at celeb like a celebrity i'll be biased and that's not good in medical profession you need to be unbiased to be able to do a fair and good work on anybody who comes to you whether it's a celebrity or anybody or else anything. at the end of the day it's a human, human being. being that's how you treat that's them that's right but is it difficult to deal with celebrities it is very difficult to deal with celebrities and they know it very well i am very strict what special message would you like to give it to her because from the day i think you started kokona she is standing with you she is the backbone of kokona so i want you to give a special message for her Oh I have a lot to say about Sangeeta. I mean I first of all I say that I love her because she's been there with me right from my days of struggle shoulder to shoulder traveling all around the world coming in here going through all the struggles. So I really love her a lot for that. I respect her a lot because I've seen her passion, I have seen her hard work, I have seen her determination. There's something that I cannot achieve, she can achieve. That for me. 
and this is what she has been doing for me so i respect her a lot um i admire her because the way she keeps herself uh, you know physically you can see so it gives me a competitive challenge and you see how i work out in the gym just to be sure that i you know cope up with her activity but working so much, <laughs> working so much exactly <laughs> So I do respect her uh, a lot, you know. She keeps, um, toes. she keeps me on her toes. Yeah, absolutely. Keeps influencing me, um, you know. And um, she is a great mother for the kids. She is very good uh, family person, not only to her own family, her brothers and her her relatives, but even to my family more than I am. So she is a good network. She is a bond that holds us all together. Are you losing hair? Have you tried everything? Are you starting to lose hope? Kakuna Center for Aesthetic Transformation offers innovative and effective solutions for hair loss, including mesotherapy, PRP for hair, vitamin therapy, regenerative treatments, and FUE, FUT, and robotic hair transplant. Don't leave it too late. Take control of your hair loss today. Call Kakuna and book your free consultation. Call Kakuna now on 800-36-2636 or go to kakuna.ae. Kakuna for transformation you can trust. Chakki Fresh Shuddh Peacock Atta Nirmata Al Adil The Home of Indian Food Stuff I'm right outside the Day Surgical Center of Kukuna Clinics Let's get inside and show you some glimpses of the operation theater So this is the robot, you know, this is the use of artificial intelligence in, uh, in medical field. So what this robot does is, it is, it identifies the hair mm. from the back of the head mm. and it selects good quality hair. So once we prepare, the patient comes here, the patient will sit on this one, the scanner will come, it will scan the head. We use this remote to start the process. And then the robot automatically starts picking up the hair. Okay. Okay, and then we collect the hair. So that's sense. the first stage, it has sensor. Mm. It has almost 25 times magnification. Then if you see, the brain of the robot is, the eyes of the robot is inside, the brain of the robot is here. Identify the back of the head, the quality of the hair, and you can actually see all of the layout of the hair and the direction in the screen, which is almost 25 times magnification. Right. And you get all the details, what is the pressure it is using, what is the uh, dimension it is using, what is the direction, what is the depth it is using, all of those things are visible here. So 23 years you are married to Dr. Sanjay and 26 years you know him yes. and at the mention of him you are still blushing. <laughs> But on a serious note, uh, you know, you play a very important role in uh, Kukuna family in, uh, you know, starting this and then expansion. Uh, I would like to know what were the initial challenges when you started Kukuna? Yeah, before Kukuna, we had other clinics, those challenges started from there. So it's in the year 2005, Sanjay shifted to Dubai with my two kids. At that time he was in Australia, we all were in Australia and he wanted to have his own setup, not to take up a job. So I stayed back in Australia to support the family. So both of us coming here, no jobs, so it was very difficult. So I don't know how he managed his initial days with both the kids, setting up the clinic. So he never complained about anything. I joined him a year later. When I came here, um, he was uh, doing his clinic in partner with uh, one of the doctors but at that time he was struggling because the partnership broke due to some reason and he was going through a very tough time and I had no clue about how UAE 
work for the visas or what the documentation nothing i came here and i was so surprised about everything hardly had like clue i was not understanding at all anything and during that time his parents also came here and mother was extremely sick she went into coma so it was like all chaos going on and added to that there was like you know the rental property the issues were there and you know the landlord was not re- ready to renew the contract he asked us to and at that time there were rental contracts were not that strong so they started telling me that we have to look for the rental house i said where which area I, you know open a properties newspaper look into that and the rents were going hey why so then somehow i found some villa murdi went i don't know where no one had heard about that murdi area and the gp was not, gps was not that strong at that time we took the newspaper we took the map and then we went and looking into the area so anyway that's how it started and uh, then settled on with his parents gates and everything i wanted to start off radiology but uh, somehow i couldn't manage to get the job the way i wanted it sanjay was busy with his practice both the kids at home and the job it was very demanding job like you know from morning till evening so i took a back seat and started thinking what i have to do now you know after a couple of months then i decided that i'll join sanjay let me help him that i'll have a flexible time with the kids and family and business so i joined him and that's how the journey started so initially we started the clinic in bardubai so after a year i joined in 2006 by 2007 i think we kind of settled down by the grace of god we're doing good and slowly the practice picked up we're extremely happy but this practice was within a polyclinic so the patients wanted very the way his practice was they wanted a confidentiality of you know a kind of a privacy so i started to know the areas in dubai how things work here that's how i got to know about jumeirah and beach road and alwasal road i started looking for the place we wanted to give back to the patient they really loved sanjay so much so that's how in year 2009 we started kakuna So we have finally reached the med branch of Kukuna Clinic. Dr. Sanjay is already inside. The clinic looks very beautiful from outside. Let's have some glimpses first. Then we'll speak to Dr. Sanjay, and then in the evening we will move back to the house. in one of the treatment room of uh, med branch of kokona clinics and dr sanjay is with us what i forgot to ask you earlier is that what treatments could be done in kokona what do you offer so we are focused into all the three things which are important for everybody skin hair and body so we do skin treatments like facials rejuvenation anti aging treatment pigmentation improvement glows um we do treatment for hair if somebody has excess hair in the body or the you know hair removal part which is done by laser uh for men who needs hair transplant hair rejuvenation we do hair transplant and for body we do slimming toning lifting cosmetic procedures cosmetic surgeries for men for women so these are all our services i would like to uh, ask you in for in fact not ask you but i want you to give a message to the young generation who maybe wants to be doctors in the future or who wants to be an entrepreneur a tycoon like you of course uh, what is your message for them see all the youngsters um, who wants to become professional who want to become doctor uh, i would say that it's a very noble field okay and it's a huge responsibility and if you are passionate if you are dedicated if you are focused that's the place for you to be um it does require you to be 
a learner all the time. You have to keep learning to be able to do the best. You know, there are a lot of innovations, there are a lot of new techniques, there are a lot of new things that keeps getting invented and you need to be hands-on and minds-on to all of these uh, innovations. And who says a doctor can't be an entrepreneur? Okay, a doctor can be an entrepreneur too. What you need to do is you need to combine both your professional skill and your business acumen together. And when you mix it, it's always possible, it's easily possible to, to do that, to be an entrepreneur. So after a lovely and a beautiful day at office, we are back to Dr. Sanjay's house. As uh, we were leaving the office, he said that he's going to cook. So let's find out what he's going to cook now. The food looks delicious. Usually I don't end my day on dinner tables. I leave people for their quiet dinner. But since today you both have made the dinner, so I thought let me see who cooks better. Okay. <laughs>